Hello. Look at this picture of me when I was just a young lad. See that? That was approximately six months after I had a uh, go-kart accident. Um, my friend and I were driving in a go-kart and I was in the passenger seat and uh, we turned around to look at something crossing the road. I think it was a squirrel or a bunny or something like that. And when we turned back around, there was a mailbox. We had driven under a mailbox and uh, my face was the only thing to make contact with that mailbox. That might be something that you don't know about me that I had reconstructive surgery on my face. And why am I telling you that? Well, uh, mainly just to get your attention. <laughs> but it's also a true story because I have some very important news to share with you. Um, also, but before I share that special news with you, I want to tell you about a miraculous thing that happened to me. So I've been experiencing this red eye for, uh, I don't know, six months to even a year. And I would just get really red in my right eye and then sometimes I'd go to my left and I would get a little irritated and I'm not sure, I wasn't sure what it was causing it. Um, and as you can imagine, every time I looked at my face, being uh, someone who's enthusiastic about health, I just got really discouraged when I saw my eyes were red. I feel like it was like the epitome of uh, not looking healthy. <laughs> it was red eyes. <laughs> so finally, um, I decided to go to an appointment with the ophthalmologist and where he was 100% sure of what I had. And what I have is called pinguecula. Or let me say what I had. Uh, pinguecula is also known as surfer's eye. It's um, when you have overexposure to the sun and your eye gets basically sun damaged. He told me that it's not a very good chance that it could be reversed or digressed. Um, and uh, so I was kind of sad about that, but I was happy to find out that it wasn't anything serious. So, but I want to tell you something. As you can see my eyes, right? There's nothing wrong. You don't see anything wrong with my eyes, do you? I'll tell you why. <laughs> it's because recently I was doing some research on the internet to find out that apple cider vinegar when put into the eye has been credited to uh, healing people's eyes both in uh, with pinguecula or other eye issues. So what I do, I tried to put some eye drops in my eye. I made a little solution of apple cider vinegar and honey and put them in my eyes and I've never experienced such immediate and significant results. Ever since I've been putting those eye drops in my eye, I've been putting them a few times a day. Once You can only put one in at a time because it burns like the dickens. <laughs> but man, as you can see, my eyes are looking pretty clear. <laughs> Thank you God for delivering me that solution. Um, anyway, with the uh, news that I want to share with you, about our Montana retreat coming up August 27th. I want you to ask yourself, whatever your name is, if your name's John, or if your name's Elizabeth, Emily, Timothy, um, whatever your name may be, Donna, Dan, Robert, <laughs> what am I doing August 27th? And if the answer is, I don't have any plans and if you're available, I wanna encourage you to come to our Montana retreat. And for those of you who know this is not uh, for you, then you can just exit out this video now. But if you, if you consider that idea of joining us in Montana for even a second, and maybe your heart starts to beat a little faster just to the consideration of, of taking such a leap of faith, I want you to really consider that. I want you to email us robroz at gmail.com subject line Montana and we're gonna talk with you we're gonna have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you uh, about joining us and what may or may not be holding you back or maybe there's nothing holding you back and you know you want to do it but we just booked an epic house in an epic location Montana Danimal I'm super excited to be uh, reuniting with Daniel on this retreat and he's been there for like the last month or so and he has just said that this has been some of the most beautiful area of the world that he's ever been to and he's been to a lot of places of the world so we have I think like six more spots available 
um, and we want to encourage you to join us. August 27th through the 31st, do it now. Open your Gmail, your Yahoo, whatever. Email us robbraz at gmail.com, R-A-W-B-R-A-H-S at gmail.com. And I'm going to leave you with a few clips of Danimal in Montana. And so you can get to see a little bit what he's been up to. All right, God bless you. Getting found in nature, if you know what I'm saying. As you can see in nature, it has some like really miraculously beautiful outlets, such as hot springs, that when it remains, the energy remains in motion, it's like almost mystifying and so attractive when it lets it out. Just let it kind of let it flows, let, let, let the energy flows through it rather than when it gets hoarded up or stored um, and then it bursts open. That can be a very dangerous and destructive force. So, I would like to remind you that nature is demonstrating the ways that are attractive and serene and peaceful and loving, and then it's showing the ways that are violent, destructive, and dangerous. And I would uh, invite you to choose to let what come up and come out and to realize whatever emotion you're experiencing, that it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and you may never feel that happiness that you're feeling, you're, how you're feeling it right now and you may never feel that sadness at how you're feeling it right now. So to uh, realize that emotions are not something to be scared of, but they're to be felt and they're to be made your slave rather than your master, that you can use them to transmute your passion, your drive, your love in a very advantageous way. Join us in Montana because Nathaniel's not even going to be there and Timothy I think is the last retreat I'll be doing this year and I think it looks like we're all kind of growing with the flow in different directions in, in some ways and that the way this might be like the last time the Rob Ross retreat is set up like this and it might as well make it in the last great state because after this I have a bunch of 10 all in events so if you want to see like a 10 all in slash Rob Ross hybrid experience, this is the one. And go all in on yourself. Start investing in yourself like you want others to invest in you. Start getting paid to do the things you would pay to do. Did you really just say that life is not miraculous? Did you really just say that you weren't created by an infinite, amazing, miraculous? Whoa. Ha <laughs> ha!